there. Welcome back. Writer's World Radio, episode 49. Happy New Year! Hope everyone's doing well. Your eggnog is quite tasty and still good. Or whatever else you're drinking. But besides that, it's a new year. And what better time to be able to take hold of stuff. And it's a new beginning. Start fresh. Move forward. What's a good way to do that? Hey, today I'm actually going to talk about sales tracking. Why would I do sales tracking, you say? Well, simple. How many books have you sold? 10, 20, 30? Well, you might have an idea at those lower numbers, but once you start getting over 100, and believe me, they can and will probably happen. How many have you sold? And what are the, your better months? How's uh, the production hold up? Is a title going strong? Or is it kind of dwindled off? I mean, maybe time to retire the title for a bit and bring it back in, you know, later in another edition or uh, relaunching. That's a couple ideas. So how do you go about sales tracking? Well, a number of the websites do offer their sales tracking tools within their little media. But what if you sell it on across cross platforms so, you know if you do Amazon and Barnes and Noble and some of these other ones how do you keep track of it all because well, you're not going to be able to communicate between each other Excel is personally what I use um, you could do a number of you probably could do a word you could do it um, in numbers you could do it in a number of different applications I'm sure there's applications you can pay for out there but if you're looking for something again cost effective which is a writer's favorite tool. Excel works. You go online, you search out different type of uh, algorithms, for lack of better terms, uh, encoding, uh, different things to be able to put in there and help break everything down, crunch it down. You do it by month, you do by title, you do by month and title. You, there's a lot of different ways, depending on how you want to set it up. It's completely customizable. If you need help, someone probably could help you out. You could even go to probably your local community college and get some help from there. And figure out how to break it down. So this way you can see July was a little bit of a slow month for me, but August things started to spike. Well, what did I do in August? Oh, well, I was doing a little more on social media. I had a, a presentation where I sold some more. And, it, you know, so you can see the reflection in the numbers. And again, just kind of say, well, what's your best selling title? People may ask. And you could go, Gideon's Cross. That's my best selling title. And, uh, well, that is my personal best selling title. But this way, you can, you can honestly say, oh, well, this one sells the most. This is how much I sold. And... If you're ever doing an interview and they want to know, well, how many of this one have you sold? Well, I've sold over 600 copies of this one. It, it speaks to your credibility. And instead of having to guess and go back and do the research, if you start, again, beginning of a year, might as well go to it. Start now. Create that spreadsheet. Find the different formulas you can put in to be able to, to help. And it's going to just... It will just all populate, and once you get it going, it's just going to flow. It, it's going to take a little leg work at first, and yes, that's a pain, but it's going to be worth it. So take the little extra time, do the leg work, create the formulas, find the formulas, put them out there on the, a spreadsheet, and get tracking. It's quite simple. Like I said, New Year, why not get started now? If you have any questions, want to know how exactly I have mine designed, you can hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Matthew J. Graken. Or the Twitter works too, at Matthew J. Graken. Use the hashtag Writers World Radio to keep it all connected. Or email the show, writersworldradio at yahoo.com. I hope everyone's doing well. I, hope, I wish you all the best this new year. We'll keep it connected. Let's keep it going. Keep that creativity going. New year, new possibilities. 10 minutes a day. Think about it. 365 days. 
that's a lot of writing that you can get done. If you eliminate the weekends, it's still quite a lot of writing that you can get done. And you may finish something up. Uh, well, so what are you working on? Let me know. If you need help with what you're working on or to get started, let me know as well. You have my information. Hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe. Happy New Year. And I'll see you next time.